Hey guys, so I'm down in the new jam space that we've just created for Sunday morning and I just took part of one of my cabs which you can see there's a big hole in the wall here. You can see I got all these amps lined up that I've demoed and messed with and every, a bunch of stuff from the past and finally decided I was going to pull this old GK that I had out of the wall and start taking it apart, salvage anything I could, get rid of the rest of it. And so I thought about this a little too late that maybe I should grab the video, but obviously now that I've thought about it, I'm doing the video and just doing a little rundown of everything I pulled out because I thought it was interesting. So I'm going to move over here to show these speakers. Ugh. So these speakers are out of a GK410 Gold Line, which was a special Galleon Kruger set of amplifiers that was made exclusively for Guitar Center, actually. I pulled these out because this guy has a nice tear you can see right there on the side. Obviously, this is also dented. Didn't come out very easily, so on some of them, I actually had to cut the wires because if possible, I'm going to try to salvage these speakers. I know that the cabinet was a 4 ohm, sorry, 8 ohm at 400 watts. I have to look up to see if the wiring harness was made so that it was a 100 watts at, per speaker at 4 ohms each or if they were 16 ohm speakers I think I'm saying that correctly but I took these out I'm gonna save these clean them up as you can see I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see this there's just some nasty grime there we go some really nasty nasty grime on these speakers which is unfortunate they look spectacular in person but they're just dirty um, <clears throat> Also, I'm going to put this against the wall real quick. I got this nice grill piece now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It says GK at the bottom in gold, just like the gold lines, which is also reminiscent of you can see over here. This is my GK combo cab. It has the same exact setup. I spray painted this one red. It looks a little bit orange in the video. Not a big deal. But, um, I got this, I got these four speakers, one of them's totally shot, I'm just gonna throw that out. <sighs> I got some handles in here. I got the corner pieces, which maybe I'll sell, maybe I won't, I'll see what I do with those. And then this is the wiring harness. So, I'm gonna see how this wiring harness works. Well, um, and maybe I'll have a project and well no actually I know there's gonna be a project in the future that we can use this for I'm almost 100% and if possible I'm definitely going to use it but let me bring you upstairs show you this cab that I have going on so unfortunately I didn't get a picture of this cab before it had the grill taken off as you can see just on the outside there's just some nastiness I don't even know what to call that but it just it's nasty it's a nasty cap I always had issues with it I always thought it kind of smelled never knew really what the deal was All right, I just want to throw a light on this so that as I get closer you guys can really see what's going on in here just like Sorry, I'm trying to focus this. Look at all of this nastiness. Mouse poop and other, sh other stuff. Like, I mean, it's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And all of them are like this. This one, I don't even want to reach my hand in so that I can adjust that. But it's disgusting. 
Same here. Same here. I got this cab for really cheap, but I mean, this is just disgusting on a level I did not understand. When I played with it out in the garage a while back, I always thought it smelled strange when I played in the summer and it was running hot and everything. And now I understand why. One of the really interesting things that I felt about this cab though that I wanted to kind of give a quick overview of and why, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video was I think it's interesting how there's four actual like compartments that at the back are joined together. At the top here you can see that there's venting and at the bottom there's venting. But for the most part, this insulation runs all the way back. These chambers are almost all individual. Very interesting design. I don't know what that is. That's disgusting. It's like, oh my god. Is that glue? Is that, what? what is that? I don't, I don't know. But... I thought this would be interesting, just do a quick little show of. Hopefully I'll be able to show what those speakers go to, if they ever go to anything. Anything I get to salvage, I'll definitely be making an update on. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to be posting some more bass stuff. So, I hope you guys are interested in this. Um... Feel free to drop a follow if you are interested in it. Hopefully you guys will be following along. Please like and share with your friends. I will be posting a lot more bass content. I know I talk to bassists all the time at shows about their gear, my gear. And so this is a really fun topic for a lot of people to talk about. And it's one of my favorite topics without a doubt. So... Like I said, share if you know a bass player, follow if you're interested in general, and make sure to leave a comment. What amp do you guys use? What is your favorite company? And do you like to use a combo, or do you like to use a body, a cab, with a head? Tell me what you guys are doing. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. I'll be posting more stuff like this soon, hopefully. Until then, I'll talk to you guys soon.